What about underpants? What, what's some stuff we can wear under our pants? Dude, back to your point of I work on Monday. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I can't tell you how many times under undergarments that have padded material in them have saved my Monday. <laughs> nice, nice. So get, having a good get off and landing on your sides never easy. Um, a lot of times your shoulder's gonna be what gets the impact first, but mm. nobody thinks about what's gonna happen when your hip, hip hits the ground. So um, what's really cool is Fox offers a Titan for your hips as well, and so does Climb with the same energy absorbent material that they use in their tactical shirt. Oh, okay. This is called the tactical short for that same reason. Nice. Um, I can't tell you how many times. Like I said, this has saved my Monday. That's awesome. Don't forget that one. Oh yeah, they got. They even have the. It's a chamois, really. Oh, so, no kidding. Nice. If you if you're a rider that sits down in corners a lot more or sits quite often, um, some of these are going to have butt pack, butt protection so that you're. You're not feeling a little raw. Sure, sure. <laughs> I know. I know some of the new seats they can really grab too. Yeah, so they can, yeah. They especially can with it. with a lot of bikes nowadays, they're going to thinner, a lot thinner seats and narrower bike platforms. So it can get a little uncomfortable pretty fast, especially if they have soft foam. I don't know about you, but my gas gas has a lot of soft foam in there. So yeah, yeah. You can really feel the subframe underneath there. So one of yep. these is really nice for that. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. I think I'm going to have to look at some of those. Uh, <laughs> what about, um, I mean, we saw jerseys. What about uh, some differences in pants, that, that type of thing? Can I take a look at these? So back to pants. Um, with jerseys, it's really important to pick kind of the pant that is with your riding style and the weather. So like Z was saying with the Flex Air jersey, the Flex Air pants are gonna be just as ventilated. So on a day colder than 70, these are gonna be pretty chilly. So in a hot day, probably midsummer, especially around here in Utah, I don't know about you guys, but lately it's been getting up to 100 degrees in the middle of the summer. Yeah, like we have rough. temp swings big time. <laughs> I now, don't know how you weather that yeah. suit in some of those races. <laughs> it keeps me trim, I guess. <laughs> now, though, the, these are going to be the more form-fitting style. Is that correct? Correct. So this is going to be an athletic cut. Okay. So you really feel it on your calves. Yes. Ah, it okay, is okay. calf tight most of the time. And I got skinny little ones. Right <laughs> um, something about all moto pants is they're all cut for braces or pads. So you will, when you try them on, you'll notice you have extra room in your knee. So a um, couple of the major differences, you got an entry level one, which is gonna be your more basic materials. Um, most of them, you're always gonna wanna look for the leather panel so you don't burn your pants. Yeah. Uh, big thing on riding pants, don't want to hang here to that. Um, you'll see is they're gonna run multiple different fabrics all the way through this. Flip it over. And so on the, in the butt area, it's actually going to be reinforced on all these pants. Okay. Um, just going back to the seat conversation we just had where they're tearing everything. Sure, yeah, yeah. So this is gonna help protect against that. Um, then you're also gonna have, right above that, you're gonna have a stretch area. Oh, Nobody yeah, likes okay. their pants falling down. No, no, exactly. So this will help it stay on your waist when you are bent over or when you're sitting. That way it stays in place. Um, the other thing you're going to notice is we got three different pants here. We got an entry level, we got a high end, and then we got this thing. This thing is a different animal compared to what <laughs> yeah, those are. Yeah, this looks are. a little different setup on it. Yeah. So the way off-road pants work is this is where you're going to see a huge difference from moto to off-road. You're going to see reinforced fabric the entire pant. Okay. Um, still breathable fabric. A lot of times off-road pants are a little bit more expensive because they have to use a stronger material that breathes just as good as this guy. So that for sticks, branches, and yes. trees, that kind of, okay, I get it. And so you can still stretch. Okay, okay. Because if there weren't these stretch panels, you wouldn't be able to move in a moto yeah. pant. Oh yeah, yeah um, So big thing Climb does, like Garrett was saying, there's your pocket. Sweet. Saves my life. Pockets are good. <laughs> the car pants also always have a vent. Oh, that's nice. So if it is hot outside, you can open this vent, blows air straight in. Um, it's on both sides of the leg. So you got one on each side, pocket on each side. But I personally have a set of the cars. I've gone down on them really hard. I can't tear them. Heck, nice. I have a set of Mojave. So the Mojave version of this is all vent right here. 
Okay. So there's none of this closed material. Mm. Um, I have a set of those. I can't even destroy those. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So. Like, like Z's touching on, um, the importance of the vents on the Dakar is, is huge because this kind of tougher material, like he's saying, it's not breathable. So this, this stuff is going to stay pretty warm. Other than these kind of stretchy areas, they still breathe a little bit here, but up in this, this tighter stuff, it's not gonna breathe as much. So having that vent um, like the Dakar has is really nice for warm days because you can still wear your super tough, rugged pants that are gonna go through everything with you and you can still open them up and breathe. Right. So, so would this be a good pant for like maybe spring or fall, something like that too? So or? a lot of people, they will wear this in spring, fall. Um, because the technology's come so far on this material right in this general area where it's orange, people have actually started wearing it year round. Oh, nice. um, just because it does vent really well, um, comparably to some of the old climb stuff that did not. Um, we used to tell people if it's above 75, go to a Mojave. Okay. But now we don't even say that anymore. So interesting. That's it's really kind of how much protection you want. Hey, so yeah, exactly. Like we were saying at the beginning, I raced the the U.S. Hard Enduro Series, so I have a set of each climb gear for to kind of tailor to all of those kind of riding conditions. Like there's an upcoming one in Page where it's supposed to be pretty warm, so plan on the Mojave. <laughs> but if you get into some colder weather, like in the fall, it's really nice to wear some Dakar so you can keep it nice and warm. Nice.